So what's up everybody and welcome to a rainy summer morning here in East Texas. This rain is always welcome. But today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the comments that we get, some of the emails that we get, some of the private messages that we get about people saying that this type of this type of agriculture, regenerative agriculture, regenerative ranching, whatever you want to call it, moving the cows every day to help build soil, okay, whatever you want to call it, that this can't work everywhere. But before we get started, you can see where the cows are today is actually in uh, the bottom, bottom, you know, 7% of the farm actually, as far as uh, fertility, because we're on a, we're on a hill here. On this hill, it is just basically super compacted clay soil. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty rough. Okay. But look at what we're growing. Look at what we're growing. Last time through, we just came back and, and kind of just took the tops off because it was actually pretty thin. But look what, what's come back. I mean, this is the this is middle of summer. This is dead of summer. We've been having, you know, 95 plus degrees for the last two weeks. we got this rain here. And look at what we're able to grow. Huh, Tiger? Are you happy with this? I think so. But I get comments from just close by here to comments just around the country or even around the world that this model of moving the cows every day just doesn't work for them. I went, why? You know, I wanted to figure out why they're thinking that. So I responded back to a few people and people have said, oh, you know what? We don't get enough rain here. Or, oh, you know what? You know, your soils are so much better. Or, oh, you know what? Whatever, there's a bunch of excuses. But those people have to remember that we've only been on this farm here since it was March of 2020 and we didn't have cows until April of 2020 and it was only three. So, I mean, they didn't really do much. But what I found by putting this out on the internet is that people are so quickly to say no it doesn't work for them rather than try it for themselves I understand if you've been doing something all your life the same way and you know you've been you know what you would call successful with it but there's a point where you have to be open to new ideas see it's good to be skeptical about things it's always good to be skeptical about things but you can't let that skepticism bleed into ignorance what I see time and time again is that people look for differences rather than similarities to the area, to the region, to the soils, to the rain, to everything. They're so quick to point out things that are different rather than things that are similar. Let's look at the ways that we're similar, okay? Do you have land, okay? Or do you have land that you can farm, that you can lease, whatever? Do you have access to land? Two, does it rain at all where you're at? Does the sun shine wherever you're at? Because if you have those three things, odds are you're gonna be able to do this. Now this is Northeast Texas and there's a reason why we chose to live here. When we decided to move, we chose here. Why? Look at this. It's very, very, very green. But can this work in a place like Arizona? Yeah, it can. Absolutely. Why? Because there's people doing it. Now is it going to be able to grow as fast as lush? Are we going to be able to keep as many cows per acre? No, you're not. And why is that? Because in Arizona, in some parts, they only get a few inches, like a handful of inches of rain a year. But, but, those people need to learn how to capture that rain. I say Arizona because it's a very dry climate and I've actually spent quite a bit of time in my lifetime there and I've been there when it rains and what happens when it rains, guess what? It comes down, you know, that's why they have a bunch of flash flood warnings in Arizona. It comes down real fast. It usually comes in one burst for maybe an hour or two and then after it's done raining, in five to 10 minutes, all the water's gone. Like if you're, if you're not in a gully or something like that, the water, just gone. And where did the water go? The soil there, it's really sandy, so it just sinks down and just goes back deep into the ground. What would be the solution to that? Well, because the soil doesn't have a lot of organic matter there, you need to add organic matter and carbon to the soil. How can you do that? Where are they at? Huh. They went over the ridge. Cows, cows or any kind of ruminant animal, why? Because you go and put cows on there in an ultra you know, high density deal, they're gonna manure. The manure fertilizes the soil, adds the organic matter. The organic matter grows grass. When the grass comes up, if it's not grazed off right away and it's actually allowed to express itself and grow up, it's gonna send down roots. Then the cows come back through. The cows come back through, take off, you know, top third, maybe even top half in Arizona. Those roots from the grass partly die off and next thing you know, you have carbon in the soil. And then when the next rain comes, guess what? It's able to hold a little bit more water and you keep doing that over and over and over and over and over again. Guess what? You're gonna be able to grow more grass. Is it, is it gonna be able to look like this? 
I mean, maybe after hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years of doing it, because that's a lot of work. Some people might disagree with that even and say, yes, it can. And there's probably somebody out there that will prove me wrong. But once you get started, it's a compounding effect because imagine if the whole region, if a whole region, a whole county in, in one of those arid places like that, California, New Mexico, Utah, Arizona, whatever, the whole region started doing this. Guess what? The ground's going to hold more water. And if it's done over a big, large area, guess what? The humidity is going to start to tick up. And when the humidity starts to tick up, you're going to have more clouds. When you have more clouds, more rain, and then the process, again, just compounds and you can grow more grass. And maybe, hopefully, eventually it can look something like this rather than just, you know, desert where it's just not productive. But I use Arizona as an example because it's, you know, kind of extreme. You know, here we get, I don't know, 35, 40, 45 inches of rain a year. In Arizona, they may get three or four. But it's even people around here. I have a guy that lives, he's probably seven or eight miles as the crow, crow flies east. And he says, oh, that'll never work. That'll never work. And so it's just like, it's working here. How different are our soils seven or eight miles away? For the most part in this region, it's not very different. And the things that he said to me is, oh, you guys get more rain. Not really. I mean, no, we don't. We're just able to capture more rain because we have more, more, more organic matter, more carbon on the ground than he does. But do we get more rain? No. In this area, th th that's just, <sighs> just looking for ways to say, no, it doesn't work. Why? That's, that's what's up here. That's what's wrong up here. You're, 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 it's like I said, good to be skeptical, but that's taking it too far into ignorance. I've told him, come out to the farm. I'll show you how to do it. No problem. I won't charge you. You know, just, just come take a look around. You can see what we're doing see the system that we have. Take a look at Jordan right there. Who's hopefully going to, you know, drop something out of his back end right now and add a couple dollar bills and fertilizer to the land and be able to show him that this can be done. This can be done anywhere. As long as you have access to land, water, and sunshine, you can do this anywhere. And I absolutely welcome a debate about this topic. And if you're still somebody that says, oh, it can't work here, you know what? Tell me why down in the comments, because I'd really love to know, um, at least from your perspective, why. So with, that, so with that, the cows are moved, they're watered, and now they have a ton of brand new fresh grass that they can eat on. So hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like button because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm and drop a comment if you like. Alright, until next time, see ya.